Hey guys, super clear night today. It is a little chilly, still a lot of snow on the ground. Um, but as I said on the last video, I want to show you guys the Orion Nebula. This is from a white zone, or uh, some people might know it as a Bordel Zone 8. So pretty much as worse as it can get. But you guys know I have lots of street lights everywhere. So, but if I can still do astronomy in the city in these conditions, why can't you guys? Okay, we are going to be using again the uh, Mead Lightbridge 12 inch. And what I want to do is I want to use the filter selector and see which filter, nebula filter, works best on the Orion Nebula. So basically, if you guys ever thought of like, what about filters? Are nebula filters good? Are they not good? Uh, will they do something? Um, I'm here to show you guys. So I wanna show you guys that. And again, here's Joey saying, hey, why can't I observe with you? Like, come on, what's going on? What are you doing, eh? Come on, what are you, what are you doing up there? Okay, so here's a handy little uh, thing here. So that would go in the focuser, and then you could put an eyepiece in here. This comes with a five filter selector. Lumicon does not make these anymore. Um, it's too bad, but you can find other ones. I think now it's more like circular. And what you could do is put like, let's say for instance here, I got, I got a, a four, more filters than this, but we're gonna put here, let's say the broadband filter, the narrow band filter. This one, we're gonna just keep it empty with nothing. And then here, we could put the oxygen three or O3 uh, filter. And then I'm gonna show you guys, is there any difference? Hopefully the camera can pick it up. And then that way, for you guys that was wanting to know, um, is there any difference in our nebula filters grid? Here's a hands-on video that I will show you in the eyepiece. Okay, so for you guys not familiar with the Orion Nebula, or if you did not see my other previous video of the Orion Nebula, you find the Orion constellation, so it looks like a man. That's his shoulders, that's his uh, legs, I guess, and that's his belt stars. So you're looking right here. That's how you find it. Okay, so here we go. So we got the broadband nebula filter. Then we have the narrow band. In the middle, we have absolutely nothing. And then we have the oxygen three or O3 over there. I do have an H beta filter, but we're not gonna use that today. And uh, let's go out and try it out. Okay, so actually, let me, let me put the camera adapter down. So we are gonna put this in the focuser. Now, this is only an inch and a quarter filter selector, so which means you can't use a two inch uh, eyepieces in this. It's only inch and a quarter. So I am going to put a 26 millimeter eyepiece in here. Now, maybe I'll just do a quick visual first, tell you what I see, and then uh, I'll put the camera to it, or the cell phone. You know what, better yet, let me put the camera on that side now, I do need to move the scope a little back. Okay. And finder scope. The Orion Nebula is really easy to find. And focus. Okay, guys. There is a problem. Okay. So, let me... So, the problem is by this extender here, it works actually very good with SCTs, Maxutovs, anything that has... Uh, a lot of focus travel, but in uh, the reflecting telescope, um, it doesn't have enough inward travel. So it isn't gonna work with it on. I can't go in enough. So we're gonna have to do each filter one at a time. So that kinda sucks. I was hoping we could just 
um, you know, take a look with this one eyepiece, the view, then switch to, to next to next. But I'll try to edit it and do them side by side. We'll have to, you know, get it done. Doesn't matter. Uh, it is what it is. So uh, these things will happen. You'll come into uh, situations like this. So we don't need to use the filter selector, I guess. It's not a big deal. We can do it manually. Just get your filter. Oops. I just knocked over the uh, camera weight. There we go. Uh, so all you have to do is just get the one eyepiece, put it like the traditional way, one eyepiece at a time, one filter, and then put it in the eyepiece and view. You know what I should have done? Let me put another eyepiece in there. And let me just at least describe um, one eyepiece, how much it enhances just visually uh, by me just explaining to you guys. Okay, Ryan should be right there. Yep, there he is. Okay, so unfiltered in a Bortle Zone 8 with all these street lights i have the flash on on the cell phone so you can see me i have the inside lights going off joey's crying um but easily still see it okay so i can easily see the orion nebula the gas cloud no problem now i'm just going to switch the eyepiece this one has the broadband filter which i explained to you guys uh before is like the first level of the nebula filter it changes the color but oh yeah i see more extension so the orion nebula kind of looks like a c then with wings coming out so even with the broadband filter and if you look in averted vision which is not looking directly at it but slightly to the sides easily can tell the broadband filter is an improvement let's put the next one on so now we're going to the narrow band. Once, this is why I bought the filter selector so you don't have to go through all this. Off and on, off and on. It's definitely dimmer. Oh, wow. That's funny. A meteor just shot right through it. I don't know if any of you guys are viewing it. Uh, today is, uh, I'm not sure, March uh, 7th one just went right through the orion nebula and i mean right through almost through the trap it's a little darker it's blocking a little bit more light you know what guys i think i was using the o3 right now for some reason it's dark and the writing on these filters are really small so i think the one i just showed you guys was the o3 Yes, that's why it was dimmer. So the one I just did, the second one was the O3, and now, now this one is the narrow band. Now remember too, if you guys go to a dark site, these filters will help tremendously more. But if you're in the city and you just barely see, because remember the Orion Nebula is the brightest nebula out there. So, okay, you know what, clearly, the the narrow band gives me the best contrast or extension on the uh, nebula so here's what we're going to do now i'm going to show you guys one at a time and we're going to do unfiltered first and then we're going to try the three and then i'll put a picture of all of them then you guys tell me what do you think and does it enhance it at all and this is remember the white zone which is the worst a uh, light pollution zone so let's get to it Okay, you guys tell me it, if you see it, it's right there. This is unfiltered, okay? Kind of looks like a C. You can clearly see the trapezium right there in the center. Three of the stars there. Now let's go same power to something else. Or let's put the broadband filter in. Okay, that's the same power. Now this is with the broadband filter. 
Now, I just don't know if the cell phone is able to ca uh, capture the the wings of the nebula more, but in the eyepiece, I can see more extension. Okay, guys, I know what's going on. So, as you can see, the clouds have now come in. And up there, too. I don't know if you can see that. So, um, so even though right by Orion, I don't know if I can see that, that series right there, right by Orion, the cloud, it's very thin, but it is affecting what's going on here. So, I'll just close it. The thing is, um, in the eyepiece, visually, uh, you could tell a difference. The best one is the narrow band filter. Uh, maybe the broadband maybe comes next and the oxygen filter just dims it too much from this type of location. Uh, but it's kind of hard to capture on the cell phone. And then now that the clouds have come, started coming, even though if it's really thin clouds, um, you know, that's not going to help either. So there's a little bit there. So we'll just end it here. Hopefully I can get something out of the videos and out of the pictures where you guys can see. But if not, hopefully you can take my word for it that um, getting nebula filters, at least, um, you know, the, the three, which is the most popular, the broadband, narrowband, O3. If you had to pick one, I would probably say the narrowband is probably the best overall. Anyway, guys, this is Joe Jaguar, live from you from a white zone with a 12-inch daub. And sorry it didn't quite work out, started being clear, uh, but um, that's how it goes sometimes. I actually wanted to look at a few other things tonight, but it's just not going to be worth it if the clouds... Uh, even if the thin clouds come, it's going to dim that stuff, but that's okay. I did something. I showed you guys. I verbally told you what I saw. Uh, I'll try to see if I can get anything out of those pictures or videos and show it to you. And um, if the pictures don't come 100% out, uh, hopefully you could just still tell uh, by what I see and tell you guys. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next video. If you guys know anybody that is uh, thinking of getting in the hobby, throw them a link. I got about 190, 190 videos so far. So I'm sure there's going to be something that's going to um, help uh, a lot of people out. Uh, thank you for all you guys that have been with me all this time. And if you guys are on the forums and somebody has asked a question like this, why not share my link with uh, them? Also, I do have a new membership. It's only 99 cents a month, so it's not really expensive. I will try to do stuff just for the members only, uh, but give me a little time to, you know, get that and going. I do have one video up, and I'll tell you guys what it is. So if you want to see it, I've seen people talk about um, wrapping or using that Reflectix on, like, SCT, uh, Max Sutovs, and those type of things. Does it actually make zero cool down okay so if you want to watch that video uh i don't think it does at all so if you want to see that video you have to subscribe to the membership for 99 cents a month and also i got thumbs up now in every videos so if you want to contribute to the channel would appreciate it okay cheers why not you why not me